Man, stop bullshit. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. You're not tired because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you and you don't have a choice. It's time to grow up, man. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. Everything around you is gonna change as soon as you change the things around you. Change your mind and everything about your bank account, your surroundings, your environment will all change. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. That's why people never achieve their strategic goals. They lose the little battles, the death of a thousand cuts. One missed workout at a time, and then another, and then another, and it all adds up. Why? Because we don't think about the big picture. We don't see the decay. We are like the frog boiling in the pot. As the temperature slowly increases, one degree at a time, one degree closer to death, one degree closer to failure. All of Jane will do and all want to tell you. One that sucks is the Joseph Lacey. No lie, being bad grades in the school. They don't bother you not to be mean to oil, to be average, to seem loud, to watch people do great things. You don't mind it. You don't care about all the stuff. When that mind gets relaxed, man, you are so it's supposed to be hard, man. It's supposed to be grimy. It's supposed to be gritty. It's supposed to be horrible. It's supposed to be really ugly. I'm supposed to be bad. I'm supposed to be bruised. I'm supposed to be beaten. Your mind has to touch hardship. It's how you start to create the calloused mind. This is how I'm going to grow. For every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job to create challenges, obstacle courses and issues and conflicts, insecurities, fear sending people to talk you out of your mission because he wants to put you to a test but i can tell you now i piss the devil off every day because i just don't stop this can guy every time he does it doesn't matter if he gets sick it doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done Unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody want the reward, but everybody don't have to work. We all got to work. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the fuck out of bed when it's cold, when it's early, and go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel. Mentally, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was a fucking lie. You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day, try it, see how it feels. It's getting up that fucking early when everyone else is asleep or when it's that cold. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable, we shouldn't do this. You say yes, motherfucker, I'm gonna introduce myself to it.